Do you feel like you're running out of time and you'll never be able to become a remote developer? While all these 20 year olds get jobs, you've been grinding your face out every day for the past six months without much success. You've been pouring your heart and soul into your studies for the past six months, but it feels like you're not making any progress. The more you learn, the more you realize how much there is still to learn. You study so much from all the online courses you get your hands on, but still can't put your theory into practice. You hand copy the code from your course, copy some code from here and from Stack Overflow and paste it in your editor, but you don't end up being more confident. You end up feeling like an imposter, like a fraud. So how do you fix this? You're not a broke 20 year old loser who has all the time to piss in the wind. You compare yourself with the wrong type of person. You have a stable job, you're working 40 hours a week, commuting 10, you absolutely have zero time to waste. While the broke 18 year old plays eight hours of League of Legends, codes for hours and watches YouTube all day, you need to be more strategic. You can never beat that guy playing this game by his rules. You are older, you should also be smarter and strategize more before attacking. You need to maximize the most out of those two hours that you have free every day. You don't need to code more than two hours per day if you have a strategy. The more time you put in, the better the results, but there is a point of diminishing returns. Again, I'm not saying this will be easy, it's simple and most will not make the cut and that's fine. Not everyone is made to make six figures a year. Someone needs to clean the dishes, right? And clean the toilets. Also, watch out for the people who make this sound too easy. Being a software engineer is hard. That's why people go to school for four years. It's as serious as being a doctor. That's why you get paid a lot and have all these benefits that you want. After working with so many clients, I noticed that the difference between someone that is successful or not is by the way they set up their calendar. Planning out a rough ideal day or week is an underrated hack. I have for myself daily tasks that I need to accomplish in my business and I use Notion and Google Calendar to manage my entire life. So make that calendar your best friend and try to hit as many streaks as possible. But to be completely honest with you, this calendar trick might sound important, but I just said it to sound smart. I wanted to be like the other influencers out there. What matters the most is your why. You know those dark desires that you have or embarrassments, the ones that are not politically correct. For me, for example, I didn't want to be a loser barista. I was honestly ashamed to tell my parents what I was doing. In fact, I didn't visit my family in Romania for over two years back in the day because I didn't want this topic to come up to the dinner table. That shame of being a loser barista made me work, made me go out of my comfort zone and talk to my first mentor, made me work hard. I even asked my mom to give me a loan to go to a coding bootcamp. What is your dark desire? Getting older and regretting not making a change? Can't get a mortgage and afford a nice place? Want to buy a Tesla but can't afford it? Can't start a family? Not being able to spend time with your kids and seeing them grow? Spending 40 hours a month commuting in some metal camp? Hitting a glass ceiling and having zero creativity? These are your dark desires that you need to tap into, bro. This will destroy every single problem you have and make you tunnel vision. One thing I want to mention here is that you can get the bartender out of the bar, but you cannot get the bar out of the bartender. Meaning if you've done the same job for the past 10, 15 years, you are pretty much done. Like you can give up right now, I'm telling you, right? I'm yet to help a person like that change careers. What I found is that your identity gets attached to your job. You hate everything about your job, but your subconscious, okay, loves it and it will keep you there. So you might wanna be careful about this, okay? Even though you see the older guys doing your job, you, you see how sad, and depressed and miserable they are, you still want to do that subconsciously. Now, can you actually get hired in 12 months or less? Yes, you can. Imagine having a chair with three legs. The first leg is the roadmap, which I give away for free. Those are all the apps my paying clients are building and I released a public beta, you can grab it. And I have used this roadmap for the past three years and it absolutely works. What I find with most roadmaps online is that they are either too difficult or too easy. They introduce unnecessary problems too early and this roadmap fixes it. So mine gets harder incrementally and has extra stuff to add as you learn. Okay, I made this roadmap after working with real people just like you 
and I have tested it on dozens of people and it works every time. This is not something made by a geek on a Reddit forum. The next leg is your mindset. If you think and act like a broke boy, you'll be getting exactly that. I don't have time. It's so hard. I'm too old. Too much to learn. Too hard. Blah, blah, blah. Pussy. Dad is working two jobs to keep the light on in the place because he gave up like a little bitch because coding was too hard. Sincerely, your kids. People are losers, but not you, right? You're gonna do the work, okay? You're gonna go the extra mile, right? 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 And the last leg of the chair is a mentor. Without a mentor, you will experience unnecessary pain, quite stupidly, okay? There is enough pain already, why hurt more? Especially because you are not a broke 20 year old that has a lot of time to waste. If you feel confused by all the possible options that this career in tech can give you, or if you feel like you are working a lot, but not getting anywhere, or heck, even if you are learning a lot of concepts, but don't know exactly how to apply them, a mentor can help you. For example, my mentor was always guiding me. I didn't need hand-holding or babysitting. I just wanted to know if I'm on the right track. He was the one who told me to stop wasting my time on code wars, like so many of you are doing, and to build projects. And he told me what projects to build, which I also told you. And he told me, when to start applying. I was also reaching out to him like once a week. Don't get me wrong, I still worked hard every single day. But now I was focused on the right path. That guidance and help is invaluable in the long run. He probably saved me years of misery because I got a job in just nine months. Because of him, I'm doing this now. I'll probably still work as a barista in Starbucks. So what now? You need to know what projects you need to build from beginner till the end. I gave that to you already. But do you know what is the right way to write your code? Do you know when you are ready to apply to jobs so you don't do it too early and stack up rejections for no reasons, just because you got in too early? You want to know what questions to prepare? You want to practice those questions so you can deliver them properly so you don't blow every single interview that you're going to get? You want to get a resume that will attract recruiters to you instead of being ignored? Maybe you want more practical advice and more in-depth advice than what you get on YouTube? This is very simple, no easy. I've done this dozens of times before at this stage. So if you also want to become a successful remote developer as a junior without spending 25k for a bootcamp or 100k for a degree and without wasting years in tutorial how to spin your wheels then you can apply for a free consultation call with my team and I. We look at your situation, we look at your skills, we look at your goals, we look at your life and we'll tell you what steps you need to take in your specific situation to learn code and land your first remote developer job. This is especially for you if you're a complete beginner, a complete noob, you've never done this before. If you lost and overwhelmed by all the available information. There's so much content out there, you don't know what to do. This call is for you. If you already have a little bit of skill, and you're like, okay, I pretty much know what I wanna do. I just don't know how to do it. I don't know how to be efficient and what to focus on. That call is also for you. And look, even if you say like, I'm really good at making apps, you know, I'm, I, you finished a bootcamp and still not getting any traction with your job application, then this call is also for you. So click on the first link in the description. It brings you to my website. Click any, click any of the blue buttons. Choose the exact date and time you want to talk to me or someone from my team. Fill in the application. And if you can't fill out this application, then this is not for you, bro. You're gonna have to work hard on this because this is not a magic pill.